Hi, I'm Paulette Morrissey from Tulip Square, and this week I'm going to show you another one of my favorite pinwheel blocks. I kind of like pinwheel blocks. This one is a very three-dimensional one. You can see that it's got little raised edges everywhere. It's a very simple block to make, but you can see it's, it's very dimensional. It's got little openings everywhere. So um, this block, all you need is squares to make it. You can't, it, it's, it's about as simple a block as you can make. And it's really cute and kids love it. Kids love a, a quilt made out of this. So we're gonna head over to the sewing machine and make a cute little three-dimensional pinwheel block. And uh, in the description below, there is a PDF you can download that will tell you the sizes and the dimensions and all that kind of stuff and quantities. So check it out and head over to the sewing machine and let's get busy. Okay, you may have already figured out that I am kind of fond of pinwheels, and I thought I would show you just one more pinwheel pattern that I really like. Um, this one requires two colors, four squares of each one. It doesn't matter, you can make these three inch squares, four inch squares, six inch squares, whatever, as long as they're all the same. I'm using four and a half inch squares for this particular one. Okay, so you're going to take the four squares that are your pinwheel fabric color, and you're going to fold them in half diagonally. You can finger press this, you can iron it, whatever you prefer. And once you've got it folded in half nicely, take one corner and fold it up to meet the other corner, like so. Just like that. I'm just gonna put a pin right in there to hold that, just like so. And do that with all four of whatever color is your pinwheel. My pinwheels are all purple. Well, this pinwheel is purple. So fold that and then take this corner and just bring it up to meet right up there, nice and, and even. And um, make sure that you fold them all the same direction. Now I've got all four of my pinwheel pieces pinned like so. And remember, if you prefer, you can press them, but it's not necessary. It's not absolutely necessary. And then I'm gonna take a background piece and you're going to sew them right to the corner, like so. I'm gonna go close to the edge, like an eighth inch away. I'm gonna sew this down and this down. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and I find it easiest to start from this fold. If I start from this end, it kind of wants to pull down and, and just not end up too even. So I like to start from right here. So I'm going to start right there and I'm gonna sew like about an eighth of an inch away. Okay, now we just remove the pins. We're gonna sew these together in pairs. You're gonna put one this way and one this way. Just like so. Sew that with a nice even quarter inch seam. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the other pieces, just like this. Nice even quarter inch seam, right down this edge. So now you have both of your pieces like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and press them, and I'm going to press them towards the pinwheel part. It would They would press easier this way, but if I press them this way, it adds a little more dimensional, three-dimensional to the pinwheel. So I'm just gonna go press both of those and be right back. Now all you do is take your two halves and sew them together along your center seam. And because you sewed, you press them both towards the pinwheel, you have a nice pair of seams that will nestle perfectly and you'll get your center seam lined up nicely. Your pinwheel will match nicely. Sew my center seam. And there is your finished pinwheel block. Is that cute or what? These are all loose, wide open. Um, little kids love this. One of my grandkids were real little. Um, my grandsons used to put their little G.I. Joes in here at night, their little action figures. They would tuck them in there. I think they were getting away with something by having a couple of action figures in bed with them. <laughs> but anyway, there's your three-dimensional pinwheel block. Pretty cute, isn't it? And that's all there is to it to make this cute little pinwheel block. I like how it's so dimensional. It makes a nice 
a very cute quilt um, for little kids and grandkids and babies and stuff like that. It, babies like it because there's stuff that they can hang on to and pull on and stick their fingers in. And little kids like to hide stuff in these little pockets. So it's a cute one. And it's very, like I said, it's very simple. It's four squares of a background color and four squares of a pinwheel color. Um, you can get fancy and add borders and all that kind of stuff if you want. But I hope you liked this video. That was a fun one. Um, if you liked the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the little bell if you'd like to be notified. And um, the more you hit the, the like and subscribe buttons, the more uh, YouTube appreciates our efforts and the more exposure we get and the more free videos we can make for you guys. So please hit all those little buttons down there. We appreciate it. Uh, and we'll see you again next week with a brand new video. Bye-bye. Have a good week.